Hey guys, this is Paulio Jr. and I wanted to do another uh, sort of software video. Uh, this one's more on the performance, um, be, uh, basically a performance test between um, the top internet browsers, web browsers, that are compatible with both Windows and Mac, which are these five right here. Now obviously um, these four are you know a lot more mainstream uh, Tor browser is actually uh, an anonymous web browser so as soon as you go into it um, everything you're doing is anonymous it's 20,000 times better than incognito but that's a whole another story basically what I did um, to spare you guys the time <laughs> was um, and this was a very simple test was to basically play a video in seven in true 720 HD uh, on YouTube and see how much memory and how many processes were being run while that video was being played and what I did was I took a screenshot of it and made just a really basic Excel sheet of it um, so this isn't anything like super complicated and there's a lot more that goes into this stuff but this was just a very um, gives you a very general idea of even just for instance if you want to watch YouTube videos <clears throat> which browser is going to um, not eat up the most of your memory so basically here's the Excel sheet right here this is what it this is what it came down to um, playing um, like I said so here's I wrote down all these little tidbits here so like I said I played uh, a 720 HD video for at least 20 seconds um, and most of it was 20 seconds or longer while I was you know counting all the processes that were running in task manager and sort of you know, and rounding a little bit um, you know how much memory that uh, each web browser was using while playing the video and surprisingly uh, Internet Explorer came up as um, the one that used the least amount of memory um, so it actually came out to right around 184,000 um, kilobytes per second, 184,000K, uh, and was only running two processes. Um, and then the one that that really kind of really kind of sucked was because I do like using Google Chrome, and if you know you have a you know if you have a uh, you know a pretty up to date machine, even a couple years old like mine is um, you know it still runs smooth and it still runs great um, but running in uh, internet <laughs> running in internet explorer um, and these these are all like the pretty much the the most updated versions as of today so you know being April 19th 2015 um, this only came up with two processes and was running at 184,000 total um, K. So, and these were just a little, um, the little screenshots of what um, I was sh showing you. So you see right here, it was just one I explore.exe was running, and then I think yeah, it just it was just two that were running, and it was playing in 720 HP. I used this guy because this video because I know it's true because they even have a version for um, where you can actually play 4k on there um, but so this is basically the, the platform on which I did I would play the video check in here and look at every single process that was running from that web browser tallied them up you know like I said around you know rounded you know up or down you know not making a huge difference and then just throwing them in the Excel sheet so Internet Internet Explorer actually came up as, like I said, being the most efficient as far as not using the most memory. Um, and that's what really, really um, kind of sucked about Chrome as like Chrome is my main browser just because I like using Google. Um, but when I was running it, um, here's just a screenshot of it. I mean, it opened up 
eight eight different processes that were just you know for whatever whatever reason I mean maybe it's running other things in the background but still eight different processes um, while running this 720 HD video the video ran there was nothing wrong with the video but it was just you know it did 414.5 you know 414 thousand uh, K and which was really which really kind of sucked so really kind of put it into uh, into fifth place here so the Internet Explorer was the first opera was the second but uh, for whatever reason uh, running six different processes uh, I do like I liked um, how it ran in Firefox um, because it didn't I'll show you the Firefox one real quick now Firefox what it does is it doesn't do as much in the actual Firefox program but it does have to load the flash in plugin separately which is there and there so those have to get added in there as well but and then just the uh, and here's Opera and like I said Opera I think ran five or so Opera ran six Firefox Firefox ran three Tor browser ran two and Tor browser isn't really I think it's it's not obviously gonna be your everyday um, your everyday web browser but it's still and it doesn't give you as many options in the quality settings but it did let me do 720 um, but like all the all the other web browsers gave me you know all the way up to four you know to the 4k or whatever it is now the the like the super high quality but I just stayed at 720 um, just to keep everything even and fair and but as an anonymous browser um, you know it's still it's still the video still played really well and that was really just my very simple basis on seeing what was the most efficient web web browser was you know how good was the buffer how much memory was it using so Internet Explorer came out as number one Opera number two Mozilla Firefox number three Tor browser number four and Google Chrome in like a horribly uh, fifth place as far as uh, eating up memory so um, if you if you do have a concern about using your memory um, while using YouTube because I use YouTube a lot um, I would you know probably consider using Internet Explorer um, because you're not running um, all of these you know you're not running eight different processes in the background where Internet Explorer is just running two and everything's already embedded into it so um, that's really it this is just what basically the machine that I'm using and what it came out to be so Internet Explorer um, you know and like I let it sit for a while and let it go um, just to see how much it, it would fluctuate and it didn't flu none of them fluctuated you know that much while being even at like the highest you know which would be considered like the the highest graphically enhanced parts of the video so Internet Explorer wins this one as of April 19th, 2015, as far, in my opinion, and as far as the little experiment I did um, in being the most efficient and um, being the most efficient web browser eating up the least amount of memory. So I know this was a quick video, but I just wanted to show you guys um, that maybe consider that and Maybe reconsider watching videos on Google Chrome <laughs> in HD if you're concerned about memory because it's eating up a hell of a lot. It's eating more than double than what Internet Explorer and it's opening up four times as many processes than Internet Explorer is. So, um, but yeah, that's about it. Hope you guys enjoyed and uh, I'll have some new videos really soon. See ya.